Hi, I'm Doug from uh, Global West, and today what I decided to do is uh, we're going to do a little video here on how to assemble a coilover shock. I do a lot of tech questions during the day, and, and believe it or not, uh, this comes up frequently. So I thought we'd take a second here and show you how to do it. This particular shock is a Viking shock. It's a double adjustable, which basically means bump and rebound are adjusted separately. We've got a couple little knobs here. And uh, it's a threaded shock. Coilovers are going to be threaded, so you can adjust your right height. At least a majority of them are. You can get a coilover that is not threaded. You know, it's got preset on its height, but you know, all the stuff that we do here allows us to adjust right height. In the kit as well, you're going to get these adjusters, which go on the shock absorber, and basically they thread on. These they thread onto the the shock. Now let me show you. This one here has got a light, slight step on it. And that goes on first. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the adjuster on the shock as so. And because of the spring that we're going to be using here, we know that this is going to have to be almost all the way down for us to install the spring. And this will be adjusted later when you get it on the car for setting your ride height. So right now we just want to get it together. The next this is the collar. You see the collar here, and that's what the spring is actually going to index on. So this coilover system, as you see, this is going to go up into the spring. This goes on next. Again, we're going to run it all the way down. We're run it down to our jam that down here. Okay, now we got it down there. Now the next thing we're going to do is in the kit, you're going to get these thrust washers and a bearing assembly. So you've got the two washers and you've got the thrust bearing. Now the reason why we want to use these on coilovers is because it allows us to adjust the ride height a lot easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to install this thrust washer first. It goes over the shock and it's going to index on your collar here. Then you're going to put the bearing on. Now we don't put grease or anything on these bearings. We let them run dry. And the reason why we do that, thrust washer next, the reason why we do that is because when you lubricate them and you get them out <clears throat> on the track and you're running it or you're driving on the street or whatever, grease attracts dirt. And what we don't want to do is have these things fill up with grind so that when we adjust this you know we it allows us to move it freely without tearing up that bearing so when we assemble these we don't recommend putting grease or or uh, anti-seize or anything on here They're, they'll move freely without that so after we get that on there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install our spring and the spring is going to drop in from the top you see now if you'll notice here, see how nice and easy because of that bearing, the spring is allowed to rotate. That's going to really help you when you've got this thing installed on the car and you have to adjust your ride height. Next thing we're going to go is take the top collar. It's going to index into the spring. Slides around there. Okay. It's going to index on the top of the shock like so. Now, so that doesn't come apart for installation. What we'll do is we're going to go ahead and rotate the base up and just thread it up. And what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to take up this distance right here. Is what we're doing. And this will be adjusted when you're on the car, so it's not that big of a deal. We just do it this way because it makes life a little easier for installation. Okay, you see how that's all taken up right there? Okay, so we've got the spring and coilover assembly ready to go. Our jam nut's loose. And what we're going to do is adjust right height by this. Now a spanner wrench is included. The spanner wrench just hooks into these 
notch is right here and you rotate it accordingly. When you screw this up, it raises the car. If you drop this down, it lowers the car. Now also in the kit, you're going to get these little dials here. And they have they're a half inch hole and they're a 5 eighths hole. Depending on the bolt that you're using for installing your shock, top and bottom, you're going to be popping these in. They just push in. I would put grease, lubrication in here before you do that. Push that in and you're all set. You'll have one at the bottom and one at the top. Simple way to put it together, th throw it on the car, and then adjust your right height from there. And that's all there is to it for assembling a coilover.